I just have a question, that, and I would want all y'all to chime in on this. Is it fair to call the vice president a war criminal when she's actively calling for an end to the war in Gaza and she's just the vice president? Well, it's lip service. I want to get into analyzing this particular segment of Dr. Stein and Dr. Butch's appearance on The Breakfast Club and specifically what was discussed in terms of this back and forth discussion revolved around that Charlemagne was outlining that Kamala Harris is is in fact doing enough in terms of calling out the atrocities that are being conflicted upon Palestinians. However, Dr. Stein and Dr. Butch made it an emphasis to note that she is merely occupying a very centrist position in terms of trying to occupy a sort of fair and balanced approach when in actuality what we want her to do especially as progressives is to call out the war crimes that have been conflicted upon palestinians not just from an october 7th and onwards perspective but even from a sort of 1948 and onwards perspective where we have mass settlement, mass displacement occurring where we have 500,000 to 700,000 Palestinians being taken out of their home, being displaced by Israeli forces. And of course, it's those same Israeli forces and the weaponry being used by the Israeli government that has also contributed to killing thousands upon thousands of Palestinians from a 1948 and onwards perspective. Even from a sort of 2000s perspective, civilians that have been killed and many whom are children. And that weaponry that's killing those Palestinians is being funded and supported by the U.S. government. That's the reality that we had wished that Kamala Harris had spoken out in regards to and thereby speaking out against power and thereby challenging power. But of course, what we got is a very centrist and neutral speech. Furthermore, this discussion also went into how if we actually had, if we actually had a Palestinian speaker at the Democratic National Convention, at least they would have had the opportunity at a grander stage to outline these realities. But nonetheless, all we got is a very fair, somewhat neutral, but nonetheless, very in favor of supporting the Israeli government's speech from Kamala Harris. Furthermore, even from a sort of just October 7th and onwards perspective, more than 30,000 Palestinians have been killed and over 70,000 wounded in the Gaza Strip since the Israelis' war on Hamas began nearly five months ago, health officials in the territory said. Therefore, what we want and what we expect is someone to call out the center-right, if not right-wing Israeli government, let alone the U.S. government that's also center-right and is thereby supporting another right-wing government in killing Palestinians. That's the truth to power that Kamala Harris should have spoken out against. I just have a question, that, and I would want all y'all to chime in on this. Is it fair to call the vice president a war criminal when she's 
actively calling for an end to the war in Gaza and she's just the vice president? Well, it's lip service. You know, I mean, she could... What she, James Ball would say, I can't believe what you say because I see what you do. You have the power to influence policy now. Sorry, she's the vice president. Yeah. I mean, and, 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 and but she point, could at least speak out. She could address. speak out. But she you know? is. No, I'll, she's, what, she, she speaks out she in the same way that, the uh, that Biden does. Wouldn't have Palestinians on the stage? We're talking about Not the same a single convention. one. Mm -hmm. Where they held them off, where they, they slaughtering them like animals in Gaza, and then they muzzle them like animals at the Democratic Even when they are faithful supporters of the party and of their candidates, they still would not allow a single Palestinian to get up and talk about just to humanize Palestinians. So it means nothing to call f for the end when you of well, when you Biden have the is already doing that. He's mm -hmm. already doing that. And uh, uh, Kamala Harris, you know, spoke a little more from the heart about the plight of the Palestinians, but not any different whatsoever about what to do. Basically, she said that, you know, our support for Israel is undying. It's, uh, you know, it's an absolute, we will stand by Israel no matter what, because, come hell or high water. Because both parties are bought and paid for by APAC and the war machine. So that, 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 that's the thing. Their, their souls are folded on tiny little pieces of paper that are buried deep in the pockets of Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, <laughs> and APAC. I'm not, I'm, not even, I'm not even playing with you.